broke up with who because you know he only had a relationship for about two days. And then by the end of the school year, everybody dated everybody twice, but nobody ever went anywhere. And so recess was a fun time. It was fun for the guys to play sports and try to look cool in front of the girls. And the girls would stand there, and then you had those one couple of girls like Sharice that would get out there and play with you and then beat you. And then so recess was a special time. Recess was a special time to take away from school, take away from your teachers, take away from sitting in a chair for a few hours and just have fun. I'll never forget recess. Uh, when I first moved here, I, I came to the fourth grade, and I'll never forget the first time I heard that a girl had kissed a boy. And I remember, and yes, mm, and it was, it was grand, it was an experience. I remember it flooded across the whole playground in like wildfire. I never, the, girl name was, the girl's name was Courtney, and the young boy name was Tyler, not me, uh, but a friend of mine named Tyler. <laughs> Promise. So this young boy, I'll never forget, he was mesmerized, of course, and the girl was giggling. And recess then became something that was, uh, had a whole new meaning. Not only could you score four, point, four points in basketball and be the leading scorer, but you could actually get a kiss. And it would be something that was special. But honestly, to look at recess, to take away, which just means to take back, step back, take a breather, do something different, step away from your studies. God's totally looking at our generation, and as you young people, high school students, middle school students, some of you college students, and he's telling us not to take part in recess. Not in the fact like normal kids do. Normal kids, they chill, they sleep, they play basketball, they do whatever. Especially for some of you high school students. Um, my senior year wasn't that easy, but I remember that after I took my finals, I, I didn't even want to come to school. I didn't need to. It was boring. We just watched movies, ate food, walked around the halls, didn't do much. It was recess for us that we had waited three years for, four, almost four years for, for recess. And for you that are sitting through your finals and for you that have time to kill in your classes, if you've already taken your finals, or if your finals are, excuse me, really easy and you're just finding yourself hanging out in class, not doing nothing, watching movies, playing games, God's looking at you and saying, don't take part in recess. Because recess in life is totally different than just playing games. Because Christians like to take part in recess. We think that there's a time where we can sit back and do nothing. Or just quote unquote enjoy life. Which means not take part in the things of God. When really that's the true enjoyment of life. And so when you, you students, this is the whole premise. Is that your testimony, we want, God wants you to tell your testimony during recess. God doesn't want you to play basketball and sports. He wants you to tell your testimony recesses. So that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. 